Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, here we are down in the mid-deck, uh, waking up after a good night's sleep. We all slept uh, really well last night, getting used to our new surroundings, and uh, we'll have a little bit more room down there tonight. Uh, Koichi's moved over, and uh, we'll be able to sleep over in the ISS. Getting a nutritious uh, breakfast packed, uh, ready, and uh, still learning to deal with uh, microgravity. But uh, we have all feeling pretty good and uh, have been eating and sleeping really well. With an assist. New Expedition 18 crew member, uh, Koichi, he's over having some uh, dinner right now on the uh, on, uh, Space Station Alpha in his new home, but uh, uh, we're so happy to be able to uh, deliver Koichi to the Space Station, letting him join the new crew, and uh, we're, we're sorry to see him go. We, uh, we so thoroughly enjoyed having him as a member of STS-119, but uh, and you can tell how, uh, how excited I was about getting into that breakfast this morning as well. You're required to play with your food. There I am uh, cleaning up my act after a couple of days. Uh, makes you feel real good when you can clean up a little bit and feel like a brand new man. coming up on an ohms burn, and you see the two ohms engines, we're looking aft, with the shuttle tails in the middle, and in just a little bit, you'll see it start to turn red. And the purpose of this burn, of course, was to adjust our orbit for the rendezvous. This is a really an awesome sight, and, uh, and of course, where we do feel the G, we're kind of pushed against one wall, but it's nothing like a Earth's gravity. Not, not that strong. So as you can see, this, this is kind of thrilling to see these two rockets firing at the tail of the orbiter turning red. This was a 12-minute Ohmsburn, and you're going to get all of it right now. <laughs> we had a little uh, malfunction with our bicycle up there, so we had to resort to a couple other methods of exercising, and Joe has to do the guns. That's just a must anywhere he goes. And that's part of the good Acer training. Right now we are putting the EMUs into the mid-deck for docking. Keep putting them out of the airlock. There's another one moving on in. They just fit through the hatch, as you can see, but they're easy to move. Handed me the uh, microphone for uh, part of the video I didn't even get to see. Um, that was uh, the station looking out the windows. I uh, spent most of the rendezvous in the front uh, there working the procedures and uh, helping brew with the uh, first part of the burns, trying to sneak a few peeks out of the window. Uh, but just a uh, fantastic view of the uh, space station as we're rendezvous. when we're just over a ramp away. Uh, Brew hops out of his seat and slides to the back so he can fly the space shuttle uh, from the half cockpit. Uh, Joe uh, 
I slide over and Joe comes up and joins me for uh, the next uh, several burns as we get uh, a little bit closer before we hand it over to Bruce. So here's me and the, uh, my chance in the left seat and uh, first chance to uh, fly the space shuttle. And uh, it's uh, pretty amazing. You get uh, sensations that you just don't capture in the simulator. An absolutely amazingly beautiful sight uh, on uh, Space Station Alpha as we got closer for the uh, the RPM and the, the eventual Torva and uh, Rendezvous. But uh, really, uh, the pictures or words can't uh, do justice uh, to what this uh, beautiful sight looks like as we get close. And here we are. Uh, uh, I'm shooting at a laser range, range finder, which is a backup range and closure rate indicator. We got our first uh, first hit about two miles out, and then it had, had good luck uh, from that on in. Of course, uh, Tony and, and Joe are continuing to run the procedures from the front cockpit. Uh, Brew and I are in the back. Brew's driving, and I'm providing uh, the various sensor information. As we get close to the station, uh, Swanee and I uh, join on the aft uh, flight deck and uh, power up the uh, APDS, the docking system, and uh, to help us, uh, when we pull up the station and dock to it, it actually captures and uh, pulls the two vehicles together. Okay, we had a successful docking and then uh, time to open the hatches. Uh, really. Uh, uh, certainly the high point of the uh, of the trip at this point, and looking across the hatch is our uh, friendly uh, space station crew of uh, Expedition 18 and uh, Mike Fink and company. So it was uh, really great to see those uh, those folks on the other side of the hatch. Pop the hatches open, then we had to do a little more uh, uh, reconfiguration with some of our ECLA systems, and then uh, time for the whole crew to uh, uh, climb aboard Space Station Alpha for the first time on this trip. shot there as we go in from the back side and now we're in uh, Space Station Freedom. Sorry, Space Station Alpha. Excuse me. And the commander, Mike Fink, is giving us a little welcome and a safety brief. And we shipped uh, Koichi over and uh, Spanky put him uh, right to work. And uh, he's uh, just finished up his evening and as Bruce said earlier, he is uh, having a, having a well-deserved uh, dinner. As we, uh, you know, that's the, that's the end of our tape for tonight. But uh, then, you know, the, our space station crew uh, worked really, really hard on the uh, on, on the uh, UPA and uh, and getting a, a lot of work. They're going to have a lot of hard work this week, and they've already been at it, uh, Mike and uh, Koichi tonight, and uh, just uh, now finished up a little while ago. So they got a lot of hard work ahead of them, and uh, as do we. And we're looking forward to tomorrow when we uh, really get down to business and. Uh, take our payload out of the bay and start the uh, process of handing it off and eventually installing it. So thanks for, again for, uh, for uh, giving us this opportunity tonight to uh, play our little bit of our flight day highlights. It's a lot of fun after a long day, and uh, we appreciate you getting that, uh, the, the uh, film down because uh, we know our families will enjoy them. So thank you very much, uh, Houston. And, Brew, thank you. It was very enjoyable from down here.